Okay, nothing out in the shop today. Down here in the office, uh, I thought I'd pass on a little adventure that uh, went on back in 2009 on the Carnival Fantasy when we were taking a cruise. And this will be sort of a narration because back then I didn't have a video camera and I certainly didn't have one with me when this whole thing went down. But this is a honeybee swarm live on a cruise ship. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, here's a story of a uh, a little adventure with a honeybee swarm on the Carnival Fantasy. We were ported in Progreso, Mexico so on January 12th of 2009. Uh, usually when I'm sitting out on the deck, I've always got a camera with me. Kind of make that a habit because you never know what you're going to see. People can be fun to watch. You've probably noticed over the years. Well, as I was sitting in my chair, I happened to notice that uh, there were some honeybees flying around towel next to me. And I didn't really know why, but then I... Got to looking around and everybody's scattering. There's just honeybees everywhere. And well, I there I sat and watching people run and have hadn't kept any bees since uh, about '87. But I did have 12 years of experience around bees and figured that something was going to be up here. So I had the camera out and thought oh, I'm going to take some pictures here and we'll see what happens. About three chairs down from me, they started to congregate into a. Uh, a ball on this chair up on the side and as they uh, were landing they started to actually form their swarm ball down in the crease of the chair there and it wasn't a big swarm but it was kind of interesting to watch of course by this time everybody around me has long since scattered and uh, probably went and told security at that time but then uh, it wasn't a, more than a minute or two and they all took off and they headed to this yellow umbrella out there by the pool Start congregating on this umbrella. Uh, of course, everybody that was around there immediately evacuated too and started running and waving their arms and screaming and hollering and all that kind of stuff because they didn't really know what was going on. And more and more of them started congregating on the umbrella and then started to make their way up inside. I assume the queen was up in the center inside there, which would be here. Like I said, this isn't a huge swarm, but it, it was kind of fun to watch. And, of course, I'm the guy out there taking pictures and walking around amongst these bees, and everybody thinks I'm an absolute nutcase. But stuck with it, and uh clump kept getting a little bigger there. And a little bigger, and I had to step back a little bit. So one of the security people run me off. And now they decided to, they needed to cordon the area off. Of course, all the Everybody that wasn't involved there close, they're looking around, trying to figure out what in the world's going on. And, of course, this guy here, he's pointing, you know, look at that idiot out there with a camera right under that umbrella taking pictures. Uh, somebody go get him out of there. And they did. They run me out of there again. But I was still able to sneak back in and get another picture of that swarm before they uh, made me leave the cordoned off area completely. Okay, so now they're trying to figure out what to do as they get everything cordoned off. And uh, some of the people in the pool are just completely oblivious to everything that was going on. So here they've got everything cordoned off and most of the people have left the area except for the guy in the hot tub back there. I don't think he really cared. So, what's their solution? And I did talk to them about, you know, just... You know, why don't you put them in a box or call a local beekeeper? We were in port, and I'm sure there's beekeepers in Progreso, Mexico, but uh, no, don't listen to this guy. He don't know what he's doing. He's just an idiot out there with a the camera taking pictures. So their idea was to use these fire extinguishers. And I told uh, the hotel director, I said, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Well, his theory was that this will freeze them. Well, let's see what happens. So they drew some straws amongst some crew members of who's going to go out there and do this. And they let loose with these CO2 fire extinguishers on this swarm. Well, pretty soon we had one hell of a big cloud of CO2 there. And bees everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. The more he blew that CO2 up in there, the more they scattered. And scattered. And now you got a bunch of pissed off bees. Now they're really saw people scrambling to get out of there because now these things are flying every place and I'm still there taking pictures okay well let's try it again we'll get the other fire extinguisher and we'll see if we can't hit this a few more times well that didn't really work either now they're just still all flying all over the place 
Well, let's regroup and see what we can do here. And after a little bit of hem hawing around, they went back out there with two more fire extinguishers and let loose on them. By this time, they evacuated the entire area. They made everybody get out of the area because these bees are flying around and they're upset, of course. Of course, I'm still there taking pictures. So, they're regrouping here and deciding what they're going to do now. Uh, they did hit it with another set of fire extinguishers. I wasn't able to get pictures of that because security people kind of had me over in the corner giving me a talking to. And there's a security guy looking. He says, there's that damn guy taking pictures again. Send somebody over there and get him out of there. And here he comes. Well, they did run me out of there, but I was able to uh, talk my way back after having a conversation with the hotel director. And it eventually did, uh, it did kill most of the bees. This does not have a happy ending by any means. I'm sure there would have been some better methods, but the hotel director's theory was that the safety of the guests comes first, even though I said there was really no danger there, and I could have put them in a box if you would have let me. But no go, so they had to go around and vacuum everything up, and they even had to go out and vacuum up the few stray bees that were still around. By this time, they did let a lot of the guests back on the upper levels. But anyway, that's my little story here on uh, my adventure on the Carnival Fantasy back there in 2009 with a honeybee swarm on a cruise ship. Uh, if you've any of you cruised before, you probably have never run into this situation. So it was interesting and fun. And I did actually end up getting a bottle of champagne from the uh, hotel director as a complimentary, uh, I don't know, either a crazy gift for being a nut out there with a camera or for trying to offer some assistance. So anyway, thanks for watching.